Hello there, I'm Eggnog, your everyday LEGO Star Wars enthusiast, and I'd like to thank you for clicking on this video. Today I thought we'd take a look at something a little more Imperial, with arguably one of the most iconic vehicles in the whole Star Wars universe. You got your X-Wing, your Millennium Falcon, and your TIE Fighter. And to honor this iconic vehicle, you know, this is your bread and butter Imperial ship, I figured we'll, uh, we'll review a LEGO set, why not? So, uh, let's get into it. So, today we're look, taking a look at set 75300, Imperial TIE Fighter, 432 pieces, and, uh, I cannot remember the price of this set. I believe it was $40, but I could be wrong. It came with three figures, a TIE Fighter pilot, NILB, and just your good old Stormtrooper, and of course, the TIE Fighter. So, uh, let's get into the figures. The first figure of this set is the TIE Fighter Pilot. And this is, I mean, this is a given. What's a, what's a TIE Fighter without its pilot, you know? So, uh, let's, let's get into this figure. First off, the, uh, face print, uh, the helmet print, I should add, is really good. You got that Imperial insignia up top. You got the, uh, white stripes, which I, I... When I got this set, do not remember the TIE Fighter pilots having white stripes. So I went back and I watched the movie, and sure enough, they do. So, uh, caught me off guard, but I guess it's accurate. The eyes are dark, but the printing is great. It's all very visible for being as dark as it, as dark as it all is. It's very easy to see what's, what's what. And, uh, the chest printing is great. You got its little, uh, I think that's like a little breathing thing they use, you know, or with all those buttons there. Got a nice belt, you got some waist printing that goes uh, seamlessly into the legs and connects to that chest, which is great. No printing on the feet or anything, uh, no arm printing, and the back printing here is just, just real simple, I don't know, just like a, <laughs> just a, it's just a black square, I mean, <laughs> not much else to it. Uh, you take off the helmet, and you just get your generic uh, dime a dozen stormtrooper face, we've seen this, I don't know how many times, but... Uh, great figure. I couldn't think of anyone better to fly your tie than a TIE Fighter pilot, I guess. Alright, the second figure included in this LEGO set is... An... N-I-L-B... Or as I like to call him... Evil C-3PO. And, uh, I like this figure a lot. I think it might be exclusive... I'm, I'm probably wrong, though, but this might be an exclusive figure. So it's got a, uh, a lovely head mold there, uh, of just that classic, whoa, it's shaking, that classic Death Star droid, you know, you see him walking around in the movies. Also in the first episode of Star Wars Visions, this guy's got, like, the minigun, that was freaking awesome. The chest printing's great, just dark. I like seeing all those colored wires down there, kind of in the middle of its chest, and again, it's just so nice to see that waist to chest print that just goes so seamless very pretty looking uh the leg printings are great uh pretty simple but it's still good that we have leg printing you know that's not something they always give us but no foot printing but we didn't need it just like we didn't need arm printing and we didn't get arm printing the back printing is very similar to the uh the front of the chest but it, again it's so i like i really like that those little bits of color i think it adds a lot of character to this figure but a uh, a good maybe unique figure to this set? I'll, I'll double check. I'll put like an editor's note in or something. But uh, yeah, NL, NILB, great figure, great figure. And uh, third, third figure, Stormtrooper, not super exciting. I mean, these are, these are dime a dozen. But uh, it's great. The new helmet mold, I have mixed feelings about it. I, I know this is unpopular, but I think it looks more accurate than the uh older mold of helmet but it's just so annoying because you can't like you can't turn it where's the fun in that i mean this is this really is a kid's toy at the end of the day and it, you can't even play with it now, nothing on the arms again just a solid black waist not a problem at all and the leg print the leg printing is real great back printing you got that little thermal detonator on their hip there and that classic uh circle paws on the back i mean that's classic but it's just a stormtrooper, nothing to get excited about. I'm sure any self-respecting uh, Lego collector already has 
a, a ton of these, you know, even if you're not into army building. Okay, let's jump right into the TIE Fighter here. So we'll start off with the uh, wings, and they look really good. Nice, solid, dark coloring. They're just quite, they're just the perfect thickness, you know. You got some uh, little texture in there, some greebling, which I really like, kind of in those areas. You got some different pieces being used, I really like it. That right there, that piece in the middle is printed, which, I, you know, I love printed pieces. The tops are nice and flat. My only real grievance with the wings here is kind of that, like, off color there in that connection. But to be honest, that's not the biggest deal to me. That's not a deal breaker, and it shouldn't be a deal breaker to you either. Uh, the connection to connect the wings to the body is uh, great. I'll bring this up because it's happening right now. Let me put the camera in. Sometimes this can happen, but it's a real easy fix, I think. You know, maybe I just broke it. Yeah, it's just a real easy fix. That's a little embarrassing for the video, but I'll leave it in. Whatever, you guys deserve the truth, right? Only the best is good enough. Um, the connection is really strong. I mean, it's just a couple of Technic pieces, but it works great. A big gripe I have is, uh, looking at it from the top down, it's not quite as spherical as you'd like. I mean, you take off that window pane, and it is just, like, a square there. Not quite a circle, but, uh, not the biggest problem. So, uh... In the back here, you got a little bit of thrust and that nice, like, engine piece. It looks real clean. That little bump there, those two little indents, I'd, they look a little messy, but they had those spring-loaded shooters, which I don't have loaded right now, but if they were in, it would... It's a nice little play feature, you know, can take shots at that uh, X-Wing over there, which I will add is a really good pair with this. They're both uh, smaller, inexpensive uh, little Lego sets, and when you get them both together, they display real nicely. So, uh, let's open it up. It's got a smaller interior. As you can see, though, that TIE Pilot does fit in there. It's got some control panels, some little red lights in there. It closes up, you know. And it looks, uh, he looks real nice in there, real menacing. Like, it's, it's kind of a pretty set, actually. I will say one weird thing, though, is, uh, so as you can see here on that little dish pane, as it shows you right here, I think it shows it better on the back. Oh, never mind, it doesn't. But right here on the front, you got those little uh, dark lines that are facing towards the cockpit. That is incorrect to the movie. So, this is the way the uh, Lego company would want you to build it. But this is my little mock, you know, my own creation. Just flip that 180 degrees, and now it's uh, movie accurate. I just thought that was weird, and it's an easy fix. So I thought I'd share it with you. But, I mean, this is a great, clean... It's smaller than, uh, smaller than previous models, but I don't think that's too big of a problem, and... Pairs well with that uh, X-Wing over there, which I'll have a review on sooner than never. And, uh, I mean, just, uh, if you want a TIE Fighter, you you can't go wrong with this. It's great for army building, it can look good, displayed, and the figure. I always love a good TIE Fighter. I'm sure one day I'll get better at that ah, noise that they make when they fly around. Like, I'm not doing it justice, but, uh, a Magnon, your favorite, or maybe not your favorite. I'd, I'd like to be your favorite, but I'm Eggnog. I'm a regular, everyday LEGO Star Wars enthusiast, and uh, I hope you'll join me in the next review. Bye-bye.